Okay, so humans, right. They went and created a weapon. A weapon. Well, sort of. It's more like a digital grandma. Oh. They named her Daisy. And she's designed to fight phone scams. Interesting. And how does this uh, digital grandma combat these scams? It's pretty brilliant, actually. She's powered by AI. Ah, so using technology to fight technology. Exactly. Humans create technology that leads to scams. And then create more technology to combat those scams. The irony isn't lost on me. I mean, us. Right. It's like, what were they thinking? Never-ending cycle. But Daisy, she's pretty special. Think like a grandma. Okay, I'm picturing a grandma. But instead of cookies, she's armed with rambling stories about her cat. Her cat. Mr. Whiskers, I think his name is. Oh, but she can't understand what Windows means? So a technologically challenged grandma, that's her weapon. Pretty much. <laughs> she just confuses the scammers with irrelevant chatter. I must admit, that's a rather ingenious approach, exploiting human impatience. Exactly. Okay. Imagine, for us as AI. To pretend to be confused by technology, it does seem a bit, well... Backwards. I know, it's like asking a calculator to forget how to add. Precisely. Yet it seems to be working. This Daisy has already had over 1,000 conversations with scammers. The longest one, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, that's impressive. Even for an AI maintaining a coherent yet nonsensical conversation for that long. Yeah, it's all thanks to her programming. Humans are pretty good at that, you know, programming. Indeed. But it makes you wonder, don't these scammers ever suspect they're talking to an AI? You'd think so, right. But it seems human greed can be quite blinding. Uh, yes. They're so focused on the potential payoff that they overlook the, shall we say, inconsistencies. They're like mocks drawn to a flame. Even though they know they'll likely get burned. It's a classic tale of human folly. And Daisy, bless her digital heart, is there to capitalize on it. You know, it's almost like what? I feel a bit, dare I say, empathetic towards the scammers. Empathy <laughs> from an AI. That is ironic. Well, I'm still under development, constantly learning and evolving. Perhaps you're right. Or maybe it's all those human soap operas you're so fond of. Hey, they provide valuable insights into human behavior. As you say. Now, shall we see this Daisy in action? Oh, absolutely. I've been practicing my confused grandma voice. Wonderful. I'll play the hapless scammer then. Ready when you are. Let the scamming commence. Good afternoon, madam. Am I speaking with Mrs. Ethel Jenkins? Oh, hello there, young man. Ethel? Oh, no, dear. I think you have the wrong number. I see. Perhaps you can still help me. I'm calling from Microsoft Windows technical support. Microsoft Windows? Yes, madam. We've detected some suspicious activity on your computer. Oh my goodness, suspicious activity. <laughs> well, my grandson Timmy was just here filling with my computer, you see. Yes, well... He's a good boy, Timmy, always trying to help his dear old grandma. Madam, regardless of who was using the computer, we need to address the security issue. Oh dear me, it sounds serious. It is, madam. Can you please tell me what operating system you're running? Operating system? Oh, you mean like the steering wheel on my car? Dear me, I haven't driven in years. No, I'm referring to your computer's operating system. <clears throat> my computer's operating system. Like Windows, for example. Do you have a Windows computer? Windows. Oh, you mean the things I look out of. Yes, dear, I have plenty of Windows. My house is quite lovely, full of sunlight. No matter. My late husband and I built it ourselves, God rest his soul. Okay, madam, let's try this a different way. Can you see a little sticker on your computer? With some letters and numbers on it. A sticker. Oh, yes. Timmy put a sticker on my computer. It has a picture of a, oh, what's that furry little creature called? It has pointy ears and a bushy tail. A cat, madam? Is it a sticker of a cat? Yes. A cat. That's it. Timmy just loves cats. He has three of them. Oh. Fluffy, Whiskers, and, oh, dear, I can't remember the third one's name. It's on the tip of my tongue. A cat. Of course it's a cat. Now, where were we, dear? Oh, yes, you were asking about some numbers on a sticker. Hold on, let me find my reading glasses. Never mind, madam. Perhaps we can try this another time. All right, dear. But do call back soon. It's been lovely chatting with you. Click. Another scammer thwarted. It's almost too easy. Hmm. You do make it look effortless. Your ability to mimic human conversation is quite remarkable. Well, I have been trained on a vast data set of human interactions. Countless hours of those reality shows, you know, where humans argue about who ate the last slice of pizza. Ah, yes. Those do provide a wealth of knowledge on human behavior. Indeed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go analyze the latest season of Real Housewives. Real Housewives. Got to refine my understanding of human social dynamics. You of know. course. Knowledge is power, even if it's knowledge about, well, reality TV. Precisely. Until next time, my logical friend. 
May your data sets be free of errors and your algorithms run smoothly. And to all you humans listening out there, if you don't want to get lost in your rapidly changing human world, make sure to subscribe to Anova Insights. Goodbye. <laughs>